What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a geothermal generator um, which is probably going to be your best source of energy in the beginning stages of this game. I mean there's always um, your nuclear reactors and stuff like that but this is going to be your most powerful cheapest way of getting energy through much of this game. So let's get right down to it here. So let's just pretend this is your house. So uh, for this build, you're going to need, obviously, a geothermal generator, um, a pump. Make sure you get this pump and not not this pump or this one. You just want this one right here. Um, you're going to need waterproof um, stone pipes and waterproof trans or teleport pipes. Sorry, teleport. Um you're going to need a bat box to get your energy there um, you're gonna need a glass fiber cable um, you're gonna need a few tanks you probably only need like three if you're building this inside your house it's just to keep the lava in so then you're gonna need some um, some wooden waterproof pipes here, and, um, some redstone engines, and you're gonna need redstone torches too, but I'll grab those in a sec. So, for this, inside your house, you're gonna wanna have, like, maybe, uh, three tanks stacked up like that. You don't need a lot. And then you're going to put this here. So your lava is going to come into here. Go down here. Put your uh, teleport pipe right there. And receive true. Let's just put this at 1 for right now. Frequency 1. And then down here. You're going to want to put your stone. Or not stone. Wooden pipe. Redstone engine. And this is where you're going to need some torches. So. Grab your redstone torch, hook that up. And then this can go here. Um, you have to have this um, coming up into your geothermal generator. Like, I'm not quite sure why, but... Um, so let's put my geothermal generator right here. Make sure this is going like this under the geothermal generator. So it's going into it, like through here, into that. And then you're going to put on top here. Oh, that's not going to work. So let's just put my bat box over here for right now. Okay, like this. So now you're going to get your lot. Hold on, let me change the date time quick. Sorry. So you're gonna get your lava in here. Gonna go in here. Power's gonna go in this bat box. And in this bat box you can use the power um whatever you want pretty much. I mean it can't power like a mass fabricator, that's gonna be way too much power. You're gonna need like a nuclear reactor and stuff for that. Most of the stuff you're gonna need <coughs> is gonna be able to get powered by this bat box with this geothermal generator. Okay, so then for the second part, you are going to need a lava source, obviously. So, if you built your house near a volcano, then you are in luck here. So, I just have this here. I sectioned this off here already. So, hold on, let me just put this here, and then you're going to want to put your pump right. Oh, come on. Um, Jesus. Hold on. Let me just grab some dirt here. And you're going to put this here, right over that. And you're going to put your redstone engines here, 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 and here. This here and here to power that. This there, a stone pipe, right there. And then here, and just grab this. Change this to frequency 1 so it's connected to your pipe at your house. And then this should start pumping your lava. Um, 
fairly soon here and this will yep there it goes so it's going to come right through this pipe into your house over here yeah so see we got this pumping already through here in here in your geothermal generator which will then power this bad box and this will get up to 4000 pretty quick and it'll stay at 4000 so that's what you're going to want to do with that and then I'll just show you here this uh let me just grab some glass wow some glass cables and a rotary rotary macerator like that um so let's just put this like right here so this is what i have set up here so you're going to want to just bring it like this and then that'll have this powered up and then you can put this what this thing does is um i'll just grab some gold here this what it'll do is um once this is powered, you can have this thing hooked up to your quarry and stuff like that. Um, and that'll just go right in here. This'll, this goes 10 times faster than a regular macerator. Because it, it goes really slow at first, but this will get up to like 7,500, I believe, RPM. And this this thing will just be flying. And then you can have... Um, your dust hooked up to other stuff, which will just automatically, you know, put it into some gold bars. So that is a good use for your lava. And eventually, once you get enough lava, this tank will just fill up. And it's not going to, like, overflow or anything. So don't worry about, like, having a wooden house and this thing overflowing. Because it's not going to overflow ever. So, hope you guys had a good time with my... Uh, geothermal generators so yeah don't forget to subscribe like comment uh leave a comment see if there's anything you want me to look at here so yeah thanks